Hello, this is Mark Nelson. What you're about to see is a series of concept drawings and a little demonstration on how I build my concept drawings for my comic book, Thunder Hunters. Different drawing tools. Here is pen and nib and working on a fish in time lapse. Here we go with the second fish. Now what I'm going to do here is lay out lightly in pencil and develop my contour, add a few little things, but this time I'm not going to do as much rendering in the blue pencil and I'm going to do more of the finished inks with the nib. Now the nib, this is a Hunt's Crow Quill, is a flexible steel nib that you dip into ink and then you're going to be drawing with that. So you get your line variation by pushing down on that nib or you know, you keep it very light by letting it just float across the paper. It's a different way of working in with the brush. The brush sometimes allows you to play with a little more suggested form. The nib, I think, is for something that you can really go in and do detail in the form. So here you can say, as I'm starting to detail up the fish, once again, you can see I work with a range of different types of lines that go from thick to thin. So as I'm drawing with the pen, I am pushing down to get the thicker lines and letting it float a little bit more to get the lighter lines. So it's a real push-pull kind of attitude. The other thing you're going to see, and that is, if you see, I'm starting to build the value in a couple different ways. One, following the form, so that becomes a cross contour. Two, I will put down flat values, and then I will build into that. So that sometimes gives you another way of de developing your cross edge, which is kind of a lot of fun. So as you look here, I'm doing the flat values and just sort of putting down a line, creating that value of gray. And then I'll come in and I will build up the other values by thickening the line by retracing there and or cross hatching over that. So it really does give you a whole different way of thinking about inking. So sometimes I'll mix pen and ink Sometimes I, pen and ink and brush, excuse me. Sometimes I'll just do straight pen and ink. Sometimes I do tighter pencils. The thing is, is that I always approach each drawing a little bit differently because I just think it's kind of fun to face these new challenges and ask yourself, what can I do with this tool? And what can I do to create a nice little image and see that each tool you use makes a different series and sets of marks that can give you a certain type of effect. So a lot of times when I'm starting a drawing, I will think, what do I want to do? And how do I want to ink this? And, you know, if I'm in love with the crow quill that day, I might pick up the crow quill. If it's the brush, it's the brush. But this gives you one of each, one with tight pencils and one with no pencils. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. And if you would like to see more, please leave a comment, click like, or share below. I'm Mark Nelson. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe or follow button, and I'll see you next time.